Welcome back to WWH. My name is Andrew Dreamer. Get ready to step inside the infamous Abaddon Hotel once again as we dive back into the found footage terror of the Hell House LLC franchise. Today we're locking the doors, turning off the lights, and ranking all four movies in the series on this episode of Ranking Rumble. So recently, we got a short teaser trailer for a brand new entry in the Hell House LLC franchise. This new film is called Hell House LLC Lineage. Now, this teaser didn't really give us any information about the movie. It was mainly just to announce the movie, which will be releasing in October of 2025. And even though that's over a year away, I'm already excited. If you've been around the channel for a while, you know I'm a huge fan of this franchise. I don't think any of the movies are bad, and I love the way that the story flows from film to film. So I got thinking about how I would rank the four movies already released, and that's what we're doing today. This was not an easy ranking for me. I can go back and forth a lot, and I did. But the order they are in for this list is where I stand today at this particular moment. If you ask me in a month, it may change. And on that note, grab your popcorn and make your way to your seat. Let's head down to the ring. Starting us off at number four is Hell House LLC 2, The Abaddon Hotel. This film picks up eight years after the tragic events of the first film. This hotel has a long history of unexplained events being caught on camera. Investigative journalist Jessica Fox, fueled by an anonymous tip, believes that the abandoned Abaddon Hotel still holds crucial evidence related to the unsolved deaths and disappearances connected to the site. Determined to expose the truth, she assembles a team of like-minded individuals to help her break into the hotel and uncover the secrets. This team includes David, Molly, and Mitchell, who is named but not seen in the first film. He edited all of the Hell House footage that we saw in the original. They're also joined by Brock Davies, a paranormal investigator who thinks he's just the greatest thing ever. As the team ventures deeper into the decaying Abaddon, they quickly realize that the hotel's evil forces remain extremely active and malevolent. Strange occurrences, unexplained phenomena, and disturbing denizens plague the team as they explore the hotel's dark corridors and maze-like layout. The film delves into the hotel's sinister past, revealing a chilling connection to a satanic cult and their horrifying rituals. The Abaddon Hotel really becomes a character in itself, its oppressive atmosphere and unsettling presence serving as a constant threat to the team's sanity and their survival. We're really... Go, 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 go! As the team unravels the hotel's mysteries, they are forced to confront their deepest fears and the terrifying reality that some places are truly haunted by evil. As I said before, none of the movies in this series are bad movies. At the moment, this is just the one that I enjoy the least. I think this movie has the weakest characters and scares, although I will say the third act is absolutely terrifying. The entire scene where Mitchell meets Andrew Tully and realizes he's met him before is just great. It's a really good twist that has stakes, and that's not the only revelation that the movie has to offer either. It's also revealed that Alex met with Tully before the Hell House team ever came to the Abaddon. Let's go ahead and move on to the next entrant. By the way, don't forget to body slam that subscribe button so you never miss any of the heart-pounding, chill-inducing five-star matches we have here at WWH. We're not just wrestling with horror. We're delivering it to your screen every week. Coming in at number three is going to be Hell House LLC 3, Lake of Fire. This film continues the faux documentary style of its predecessors, highlighting the making of an interactive show set in the notorious Abaddon Hotel. Can I ask you about the hotel reopening in a few weeks? How do you feel about that? I told Russell it's a mistake. Russell Wynn, an enigmatic billionaire and creator of the show Insomnia, believes he can exploit the hotel's dark history for entertainment and profit. While preparing for the show's grand opening, Wynn invites a documentary crew to capture the behind-the-scenes process. This allows the film to intertwine present-day events with footage from the original Hell House tragedy, gradually revealing Wynn's true intentions and the sinister forces at play. The documentary crew, led by journalist Vanessa Shepard, becomes increasingly suspicious of Wynn's motives as they uncover disturbing connections between this show and the hotel's occult past. 
The audience, eager for a unique and immersive experience, unknowingly become a part of a larger ritual orchestrated by Wynn. More souls for our lake of fire. As the show progresses, the hotel's malevolent energy intensifies, manifesting in increasingly unsettling and dangerous ways. Lake of Fire becomes a chilling exploration of the exploitation of tragedy for entertainment, the manipulation of unsuspecting participants, and the consequences of underestimating the power of evil. But that's where the twist comes in. The film's climax is a chaotic and terrifying spectacle as the carefully constructed facade of the show crumbles and the true nature of the Abaddon Hotel is unleashed upon the unsuspecting audience. See, Russell Wynn was in a car wreck years ago and was clinically dead for a few minutes. So he learned about Andrew Tully's plans and figured out he's the only one that can actually stop him. Him dying for a little while essentially made him angel-like, which gave him that ability. So he brought his show Insomnia to the Abaddon, knowing that Tully would come in with his cult. Russell knew what was coming opening night. The film ends with Russell seemingly defeating Tully and closing the portal to hell while sacrificing himself in the process. But that's not even all. In doing this, he also saved everybody that the cult had killed on this night. His whole crew, Vanessa, the patrons. I understand that the plot of this movie is a little convoluted, and you could even say forced, but that doesn't detract me from it at all. What really matters to me is the characters. I love Russell's character as well as the supporting character. We spend a lot of time with them, you know, get to know them. We care about their fates. And there is a lot of connective tissue with the other films in the series. Next up at number two is Hell House LLC Origins, The Carmichael Manor. The fourth installment in the franchise acts as part sequel and part prequel, taking viewers on a chilling journey back in time to the 1980s, unearthing the dark secrets that predate the infamous Abaddon Hotel tragedy. The film centers around a group of documentarians led by the ambitious Margot Bentley who investigates the Carmichael Manor, a secluded house with a history of unsolved murders. The Carmichael Manor is home to a grisly murder that occurred right upstairs from where I stand. During the investigation, they uncover links between the house and the tragic horrors that unfolded at the Abaddon Hotel. Driven by their curiosity and determination to uncover the truth, the team embarks on a four-night stay at the manor armed with cameras to document their investigation. The film utilizes the series' signature found footage style, immersing the audience in the raw and unsettling footage discovered after the team's disappearance. As the documentarians explore the manor's eerie rooms and hidden corners, they begin to experience strange phenomena, unexplained occurrences, and disturbing evidence suggesting a malevolent presence lurking within the walls. The once grand Carmichael Manor, now restless and shrouded in shadows, becomes a character in its own right, exuding an oppressive atmosphere and a sense of impending doom. The film gradually unravels a chilling connection to the occult practices of Andrew Tully, the enigmatic cult leader who played a central role in the Abaddon Hotel's dark history. Through cryptic clues, unsettling discoveries, and escalating paranormal activity, the documentarians realize they have unwittingly awakened a malevolent force that threatens their lives as well as their sanity. This film not only expands the franchise's mythology, but also provides a deeper understanding of the events that set the stage for the horrific events that would later unfold at the Abaddon. What I love about this movie is that it feels unique and new while still playing a crucial role in the series. It fits perfectly within the mythology, in my opinion. The characters, while annoying at times, are well-written and entertaining. The scares feel fresh, and I really enjoyed the direction that they took the overarching story. It really has me excited to see where they go from here. I'm sure you know by now what the number one entrant is going to be, so let's just get right to it. Our final entrant in this ranking rumble is Hell House LLC, the original. This film takes us on a chilling journey into the heart of a Halloween haunted house attraction gone terribly wrong. The film unfolds as a documentary, piecing together the events leading up to a tragic incident that claimed the lives of 15 people on opening night. Through recovered footage and interviews with survivors and investigators, the film unravels the mystery behind the Hell House tragedy, exposing the dark secrets lurking within the walls of the Abaddon Hotel. Five years after the incident, a documentary crew embarks on a mission to uncover the truth. They track down Sarah Havel, the sole survivor of the opening night disaster, and gain access to the raw footage captured by the Hell House crew in the days leading up to the ill-fated event. What happened that night at the Abaddon Hotel?
As the documentary crew delves into the footage, they are thrust into a world of escalating paranormal activity. The haunted house becomes a breeding ground for strange occurrences, unexplained phenomena, and disturbing apparitions that torment the crew members, foreshadowing the horrors to come. The film's found footage style, characterized by shaky camera work and grainy visuals, adds a layer of authenticity and immediacy to the narrative. You're drawn into the unfolding events, experiencing the fear and confusion alongside the characters. The recovered footage provides a chilling glimpse into the final days of the Hellhouse crew, showcasing their descent into madness and despair as they become increasingly aware of the malevolent forces surrounding them. As the documentary crew digs deeper, they uncover a sinister history associated with the Abaddon Hotel where the attraction was held. Whispers of a dark presence and a series of unexplained deaths suggest that the hotel itself may have played a pivotal role in the tragedy. The film expertly builds suspense and tension, leaving you on the edge of your seat as they try to piece together the fragments of information and unravel the truth behind the Hell House nightmare. This movie has single-handedly been responsible for my newfound love of found footage horror. Even if this was just a standalone film, it would be just as good. Every time I watch this movie, I notice something that I hadn't seen before, and that's why I love it so much. But there you have it. That is my ranking of the Hell House LLC franchise. Put your ranking down in the comments and let me know if you're looking forward to Hell House LLC lineage. Also, don't forget to check out the links in the description below if you're interested in Redcon 1 products, my merchandise from Pro Wrestling Tees, or supporting the channel over on Patreon. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel so you never miss any of the action here at WWH. And remember, in the squared circle of horror, there are no countouts for nightmares. My name is Andrew Dreamer, and this is Wrestling With Horror.